What's up YouTube? I just got something special in the mail today. Um, it's from Dan's Fish. Um, if you guys don't know, he has a YouTube channel, an awesome YouTube channel. Um, and he also has a nice size fish room. Um, so without further ado, let's unbox this. These are actually supposed to come in tomorrow, or at least that's what I thought they were going to come in. Um, so having it come in one day early is awesome because it's good to get these live fish out of the boxes as soon as possible. And let me show you guys what I got. Hopefully everything made it okay. Wow, check this out. Looks like he boxed everything individually. I ordered 12 fish total and here is one of them Let's see yep it looks to be alive this is definitely a rhino gobius I bought six of these and these are the white cheek variety so there's one let's count them out here's another rhino gobius look at that one hopping all over the place Cool, I like the way he bags it. Alright, this is the first of a different fish. This is a drape fin barb. And I'll probably post a picture of it, how it looks when it's colored up later on in this video. Here's a male. Look at that fin. That dorsal fin is really high. And as you can see, that's how it got its name, drape fin. Yeah, I can't wait to get those in the tank and have it colored up. Yep, here's another goby. Uh, I saw a video um, of this channel called um, Water Wizard. Here's another drake fin. And he um, was able to breed his rhino gobius. And he has a video out right now. So I'm hoping that I'll have um, some similar success with that. And here's another goby. I don't know how to sex these yet. I don't really know how they look up close. So we'll see. Here's another female barb. And here's the last package. And this is another rhino gobius. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. There are two more in here. And so far, everything made it. So that's impressive. You know, every. All the way from the east coast to Hawaii is pretty much as far as you can get, as far as the states and the fish were able to make it. Let's see, today's Thursday, shipped it out on Tuesday, I believe, so it only took a couple of days to get here. But everything looks great. Every single fish made it perfectly fine. I'm glad to report. But uh, let's get these fish acclimated and hopefully I'll get some shots of it um, in the tank. I'll be back. All right, so now that I got the fish um, temperature acclimated, let's get them out of the bags and into some tank water as soon as I can. I'm gonna start with the six um, white cheek rhinogobius. There's one. <clears throat> These packages are pretty interesting. They're like, um one package in another package and it's just kind of suspended and they're both sealed and i gotta say that's a pretty good method not sure what devices you need to do that but it's a good thing to emulate oops All right here's number three And I wanted to point out that um, he didn't, he did use insulation, but there is no um, heater packs, I guess, because it is kind of summertime now. So there's probably no need for that. 
Let's see, is this the last one? No, there's two more. And I'm just using the, I guess, what is it called? The drop and plop method or something? Where you just kind of get them out of the bag as soon as you can. Because once you expose it to oxygen, the ammonia in the water becomes toxic to the fish. So you don't want to expose it to air for too long. But yeah. Alright, here let's take a closer look at them. Cool. And I can see that there is some kind of variance between some of them. I see um, one that has a white cheek. Maybe several of them that don't, so that's good. I want a good mix of sexes, so hopefully they will breed. Cool. Yeah, so that's a close look at these guys. Let's go open up the other guys. Alright, so here are the drape fin barbs. Let's start opening them up. Looks like I got a male over here. And I've gotten um barbs to breed. I got rosy barbs to breed so hopefully these drape fins are just as easy. I haven't actually seen these on the island for sale in any of the local fish stores so hopefully this is the first colony here. Here's the last one. All right, they're all in. Let's take a close look. Now they don't look like much right now, but I'm sure they'll color up once they get in the tank and get more comfortable. Let's see, what's the ratio here? Looks like I have perfect numbers, three males, three females. All right, thanks, Dan. He really hooked it up. All right, so I'm trying to release these rhinogobius on this side of the tank, because um, on the other side of the tank, I have a bunch of um, blue neon gobies that's kind of hangs out on this side of the tank all the time so I just kind of want them to be since they're both bottom dwellers I kind of want them to be maybe set up camp on this side instead and um, look at this male it's already colored up get out of there ram it's hugging the show oh yeah look at that male he's already really blackened up and the white cheeks has really come out and you can really start sexing them and these females look pretty really plain and uh, three of them already swimmed out they're out and about in the tank already there's another female um, I did have a good look at them before I released them and looked like I had uh, three males and three females as well with these gobies And hopefully one of them, or two of them I should say, breed in that cave over there. I'll probably add some more caves in this corner. But there actually I have a lot of caves in this tank. There's caves all along the bottom, kind of just kind of hidden away. 
in the back there and behind this driftwood. But yeah, here, that's the uh, Barnagobius. Look at that grumpy guy. Yeah, they look pretty cool. Here's all the drape fins, drape fin barbs all hanging out together over here. I don't think they're fully cuddled up, I'm not sure. I've seen some pictures of them looking kind of darker looking. But look at those males. Yeah, those things are very unique as far as barbs go. I like them. Alright, but yeah, those are the fish that I got from Dan's fish. Here's one of those female Rhinogobius. And I'm happy with them. Everything turned out great. So I'm sure to buy fish from him again hope you enjoyed thanks for watching